This is going to be a wedding tutorial where we do two looks in one. We're going to have the same eye look, which is very simple, very natural, yet beautiful. We're going to focus on a more natural lip on this first look. The second look is going to be a lot bolder. We're going to use the exact same eye look, but this time instead of a nude lip, we're using a bright red lip. Feel free to substitute that with any lip color that you'd like, whether burgundy, pink, mauve, coral, you name it. And we're just going to have fun with this tutorial. So I hope you guys like it and let's get started. So I've already primed my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And now for a base, I am going to be using Max Painterly Paint Pot. And it's just a flesh tone color. I'm just going to get that on my finger and I'm just going to blend that all over my lid. And what this is going to do is it's just going to even out the skin tone. So it kind of hides all of, you know, those veins and uneven skin color. Next I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this color right here and it's called Virgin and all it is is it's a very light cream color. Uh, it's kind of like a satin. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. It's not too shimmery but it's definitely not matte. It's just like the perfect neutral color. I'm also going to place that right under my brow bone for a highlight. Also going to place that in the inner corner. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to go into this color right here and it's called Buck and it's just a soft brown color. And this is going to go in my crease area and uh, just for a little bit of contouring. I'm just going to kind of blend that using windshield wiper motions and then I'm going to kind of bring it up when most of that color is placed and I'm going to also go shade right in here just a tiny bit once most of that color is gone next I'm going to go into this color right here called Naked and it's a, it's a softer topier brown and I'm going to use this to blend this edge right here of Buck and it's just going to give me that nice faded effect. You can blend all the way up to the brown bone right before you get to that highlight. I'm also going to take a little bit more of Buck and concentrate that right in the crease. And that is all for the eyeshadow just to give some definition. Next I'm going to take a black eyeliner and I'm going to line my upper waterline. And I'm also going to tight line. And what that means is I'm just going to go in between my lashes so that there's no gaps. Next I'm going to take my L'Oreal Linear Intense Carbon Black Liner and I'm going to line my eyes with a very, very thin line and I'm going to wing it out just a tiny bit. I have a tutorial on how to use liquid liner and I'll put that down below. And to soften the edges of that line to just make it a little bit more natural, I'm going to take this dark plummy color called Hustle. And I'm just going to run that on the very, very edges of that liner. You're barely going to be able to tell, but it's just going to soften the line so it's not such a harsh line. Next I'm going to take a flesh tone eyeliner, and you can also just use white, and I'm just going to line my waterline. This just opens up the eye a little bit more to make it a little bit bigger and brighter. On the lower lash line, about halfway, I'm going to use this soft brown color. And this is L'Oreal's Infinite Wear in brown suede. And I'm just going to very lightly, right at that lash line, line my lower lash line about halfway and connect it with that black liner. I'm also going to go back in and do one more coat of that flesh tone eyeliner on my waterline. That'll help it last a lot longer. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Alright and that is it for the eyes. Super easy, simple, and yet still elegant and classic. So let's now zoom out and let me show you two options that you can do with your lips. So the first option is just going with a nude gloss, which I already have on right now. And all I have under that is a is chapstick. And it's just this nudie color. And it's kind of a milky, shimmery color. 
and this just keeps it really, really natural. And I hope you guys like option number one. And here's the second look. All I used was a red lip liner and that same gloss that I used for option number one. It's just simple classic liner on the eyes and then you've got the bright red lips. Of course you can substitute this with any other brighter lip color that may match your colors of your wedding or something like that. And so this is option number two with a bright and bolder lip which just adds a little bit more glam to this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this two-in-one look, and I hope you have a perfect wedding. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.